In this video, we will see how we can add a kernel and how we can use that kernel in Jupyter Notebook. So first, let's go to a folder where we will create our project. So let's create a new folder and let's call it new project. All right. So let's create a kernel that will be used by Jupyter Notebook. So to create a kernel, first we need to create a virtual environment. So hold shift and right click and open terminal here. Now you can create a virtual environment in any folder that you want, but uh, since we want to keep this associated with this project, so that's why we will create this virtual environment inside this project. So now to create a new virtual environment, write this command Python M V E N V, and then you can name this anything. Let's call it my new virtual environment. Let's just call it my new V. So your new virtual environment will be created. So if I move it down, as you can see, new virtual environment is created. Now, after creating the virtual environment, this is the step where most people get it wrong. First, you need to activate this virtual environment. So to activate this virtual environment, write the path of your virtual environment that you had created, name, and then write, type scripts and then type activate. Hit enter. And as you can see, your virtual environment is created. So once the virtual environment is activated, you need to install IPY kernel. To install it, type pip install IPY kernel. Now, if you face an error that says pip is not found or uh, pip is not installed, make sure you check the first link in the description and you will see how you can install pip. Now, uh, I missed the spelling. It's K-E-R-N-E-L. Now, enter again. And as you can see now, IPY kernel is being installed. When your IPY kernel is installed, you need to write this command to create a new kernel that can be used in Jupyter Notebook. Python M IPY kernel, make sure your spelling is right, and then double dash install dash user dash name, and then you type any name that you want to use in your Jupyter Notebook. So I'll write new kernel, hit enter, and it is showing that your argument is wrong. So yeah, I have written a blog post for this. You can copy and paste from that blog, and that is what I will do right now. And I'll have the link to this blog in the description below. So as you can see, there is no double dash after install. It's just install. So you can copy and paste this from this blog. And now hit enter again. And finally, you will see this message install new kernel. Now you can use this kernel in Jupyter Notebook. So go to your Jupyter Notebook and reload it by pressing Ctrl R. So as you can see here, you can create a new notebook with the new kernel that is this one. So if you can click this, your new notebook will be open with that kernel. So this is the kernel that we created. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.